about 20 miles south of Sacramento, California, in the heart of one of the most agriculturally productive regions in the world, is a reminder of the big city. Like the great pretender Ask the second amendment Why I'll never surrender But I'll never plead a fifth When it comes to September I'ma yell it from the roof And expose the agenda yeah. Time to wake up and open your eyes To the matrix This is going out to the troopers and patriots Living free and dying hard Speaking through battle scars An army of one becomes a global resistance Time to wake up and open your eyes Members of the public attending, members of staff, stamping of feet, whistles, yells, shouting, physically threatening conducts, and or similar demonstrations are unacceptable public behavior. They will be prohibited by the sergeant at arms. Lobbyists must identify themselves and the client or business organization they are representing before speaking to the council. Now ask yourself why they have to do that. Probably so the council knows if they're being bribed or not. Average speaker goes up there, you don't know. So you gotta go up and tell him, listen, I'm a lobbyist, I can help you out. Okay? And then that's when they'll finally listen. Then they'll raise their head from their fucking chalkboard game and help you out. Members of the public wishing to provide documents to the council shall comply with Rule 7D. And so they make you go and look up 7D when they could have just said, you have to go see the city clerk to fill out a form. Public comments should not be addressed to individual members, nor to city officials, but to them as a whole, which is why every time you see me at a council meeting, most of the time I'm stumbling around wondering what words to use. So, and I already told the sergeant at arms, I was like, it's coming one day. It's coming. I'm going to flip the fuck out. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to tell it like it is. And, and that's just going to be how it is. And he, and he said, okay. He's on board with every everything the truthers do. He's top guy. Good dude. Old timer. We were talking about his pensions. Did a video on that. I'm sure you can find it. Anywho, gotta address them as a whole. Something's wrong in your district? No, don't address your district manager, your district councilman. Then what the fuck do you have district councilmen for? Hello? While the public may speak their opinions on city business, personal attacks on members and city officials Use of swear words and signs or displays of disrespect or individuals are discouraged. Didn't say it was, you can't do it. Just said it was discouraged. Consistent with the Brown Act, which everyone praises. Oh, Lord, the Brown Act. The agenda are not intended to be question and answer periods. Well, when do I get to have a question and answer period then? What, do I go to his house afterwards and have a sit down dinner with him? I got it. I got it. I wait outside the building and when he's leaving for his car, I approach him and ask him. Yeah. And then his bodyguards give me a fucking beat down, pull their guns on me. 
consistent with the Brown Act, also members of the public with questions concerning consent calendar items may contact the staff person or the council member whose district is identified on the report prior to meeting to reduce the need for discussion. Uh, I thought I can't talk to the council, my district council member. You see, this kind of talk right here is fucking pro propaganda 101 is what this shit is. I took this shit in school. That's what this fucking whole document is. I remember when I first seen this, I was like, because it was completely different. Completely different. I even got a copy of it somewhere. Of the first one that they had. First one when I got here. And it's weird too because uh, that's the first one I got. And then a week later, they changed it. They did all this shit. Someone knew what was coming. Speaker time limits. Matters not on the agenda, you get two minutes. Consent calendar, you get two minutes and um, considered a single item. And speakers are therefore subject to two minute limit. So consent calendar items can be pulled at a council member's request. Such pulled consent calendar will be considered individually and up to two minutes of public comment per speaker on those items will be permitted. Discussion calendar items, two minutes. Time limits per meeting in addition to the above time limits per item, the total amount of time any one individual may address is eight minutes. Each speaker shall limit his or her remarks to the specified time allotment. The presiding officer shall consistently utilize timing system which provides speakers with notice on their remaining time to complete their comments. Little clock up here, a countdown display of the allotted time, play of that. In the further interest of time, speakers may be asked to limit their comments to new... See, now they don't even want to fucking say anything to you. Now they got a little blinking box on top that says, Shut up! Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Shut up! Organized groups may choose a single spokesperson who may speak for the group, but with no increase in time. So, you can go in there and speak, go you know, down there and speak on a group item, but... Only one person can speak. Speakers shall not concede any part of their allotted time to another speaker. The presiding officer may further now the presiding officer may further limit the time allotted for public comments per speaker or in a total for an orderly conduct of the meeting, and such limits shall be fairly applied. Now you not being able to give your time to another speaker, completely draconian. I mean, I've seen many other council meetings across the damn country where people, there's like 14 people there. They've all signed the papers. And they're all like, I'm giving my, uh, my speaker time to Alex Jones. How do you think they get Alex Jones at these fucking places? There you go. That's how you get anybody there. I heard, of course it's just a rumor in Sacramento, that they moved the time limit this week, They just recently, they moved it up from two minutes to three minutes. Not good enough. Want it back where it was? Now, the reason I ain't really been talking about this is because I on Sacramento has. And so, if you go over to their site, they got a whole thing about it. Asking, asking them for three minutes. I heard they gave it to them. I don't know. But, uh, so, more stuff that they want. Restoring the three minute time limit. Um, they would, okay, they're going through how things would affect the meeting, because that's the city council's claim now, is that, oh, it's gonna, time, 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 fuck your time, your time is my time, pal, I pay you. Now, restoring this three minute time limit would only add 21 minutes. Ouch. Oh gosh, that hurts. In the last six months of 2012, council meetings averaged an hour and 50 minutes. 
32% drop from the average meeting time over the past four years. Sacramento is the only government in the greater Sacramento region that has a speaker limit below three minutes. Everyone else has five minutes. The city council is expected to take up changes to its council rules next week or two. I'm, like I said, pretty sure they did that. Our government on Okay, so they they accepted it. So you gotta read shit careful, man. Because the, see, that's how they get most of this draconian bullshit through. The way they write shit. That's why it's very important to know English. Comprende? Amigo? You wanna be you wanna be mayor, man? See Ted Cruz, he's got the right idea, but he ain't going nowhere. So, you know, on and on some stuff they want, and it's been said by many times that uh they've been told many times by me, by bunch of other people. I did the video earlier about it. Well, I haven't done it yet. I'm editing it right now. You're probably watching it right now. Duh. <laughs> Anyways, fucking Brown Act, man. Oh, this one says one speaker addressed the council 135 times during a one-year period. For matters not on the agenda, 645 people spoke for an average of 13 speakers per meeting. If each speaker spoke three minutes instead of two, 1,703 additional minutes would have been added to the 49 meetings. And they would have had at least double the numbers there. Johnson's meetings, uh, even with the return to a three-minute speaker time limit increase, on average, three hours, two minutes, still more than two hours shorter than the average length of Mr. Fargo's, Ms. Fargo's meetings. I don't know why everybody praises this fucking thing so much, but the Brown Act provides no specific time limits for public comment. Um, every agenda for regular meetings shall provide an opportunity for members of the public directly address the legislative body on any item of interest to the public. That's not what they just told me, Jerry. Before or during the legislative body's consideration of the item. The other important Brown Act paragraph, the legislative body of a local agency may adopt reasonable regulations to ensure that the intent of this legislation is carried out, including regulations limiting the total amount of time. So, city council pretty much just has the fucking free go of everything. Woohoo! Mommy and daddy are gone! The attorney general has concluded that five minutes per speaker may be reasonable. But many, if not most, agencies appear to keep the limit to three minutes. What if there's two people at the, at the fucking council meeting that want to speak? Listen. Listen, listen, listen. You do not fucking determine that, okay? We determine that. If you gotta stay there till three in the fucking morning, then you stay. You do your fucking job. If you don't want, if you can't do the job, if you don't want the job, then get the fuck out. I'll do the fucking job. And I'll do it right. With no fucking bribes. With no lobbyists. I ain't no fucking Barack Obama. I don't, I'll run by my damn self. I don't need a fucking anything. Just me. All I need to do is fucking tell the truth and show the facts. And ain't nothing beating that shit. Trump card. Ten cents a bag. Oh, that's nothing though, man. Where, you should see these bags. It's like, where the fuck were you years ago with these bags? Don't fucking tell me you just came up with this idea. Folks, this is all Agenda 21 shit. The fucking Brown Act. All of it. Folks, how many times did I mention that Sacramento County is using the same fucking bankruptcy procedures, if you will, as Stockton. 
We all know Stockton went fucking broke. They went bankrupt. Done. Finished. How did they do it? Well, everyone knows their plan. You can find their plan. And you should be able to find it pretty easily because Sacramento County's got it now. I told you, they know the fucking city's going bankrupt and they're still spending hundreds of millions of dollars. Hello? McFly? Everybody get up here. See that? Ipetitions.com slash petition slash recall sack city government heads. Should say recall Mayor Kevin Johnson and current Sacramento City Council members. Well, good on you, Autumn Thomas. Thank you very much, ma'am. Saved us all a lot of time. Now listen. Local public schools have constantly ignored the issues critical to the survival of our city and happiness of our citizens. More recently, the city council passed a decision 6-2 to two to monetize sellout public parking downtown to a private company for a mere $180 million for 50 years. And that's really not a lot of money. In order to fund Kevin Johnson's pet project, the downtown sports complex. Even though we have a brand new arena, sleep train, hello. What's, what's the matter, not new enough for you? Today it's absolutely necessary for all citizens of Sacramento whose children attend public schools that are at risk for closure, whose small businesses face, no, 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 no. Just forget that, forget the school thing. No more, recall these incompetent individuals. individuals. These same types of unchecked acts have made neighboring cities such as Stockton go bankrupt and earn a place on the top 10 most miserable cities in the U.S. list. Save Sacramento. Demand a recall. And coincidentally, you see here, folks, 6 to 2, uh, the only two people that were actually doing shit for the city are now gone. There they are. Sandy Sheedy, Daryl Fong. What a fucking coincidence. Wow. Un fucking real. The public comments. Listen. Okay. I'm going to try to do this without getting mad. All members of the public are encouraged and invited to participate in the legislative process. The public may participate in legislative meetings in a variety of methods, including the submission of comments or speaking in person at the scheduled meeting. At the meeting of the City Council, the Standing Committee of the City Council, City Council appointed the way they word shit. Completed forms should be, pro yeah. You gotta go through ridiculous amounts of shit to speak, blah, blah, blah. Now check this out first. We'll get back to that in a minute. Lobbyist participation. As outlined in Sacramento City Code, you may be required to register your lobbying activities with the city. The purpose of the lobbyist registration and reporting code is twofold. To ensure the public has full knowledge of who is attempting to influence the decisions that affect city policy, and to ensure that elected city officials are informed of what interests each lobbyist represents. If you are a lobbyist planning to do business with the City of Sacramento, the first step is to determine if you qualify under city code and whether you are required to register the city clerk's office. This information is intended as a practical guide only. If you have questions, first off, does anyone know what a fucking lobbyist is? I mean, do you know the definition for a lobbyist? It's a fucking briber. Hello. Look what it says right here. It says it right here. To ensure the public has full knowledge of who is attempting to influence the decisions. Hello. Lobbyist is another fucking term for briber, folks. That's why whenever the politician says, 
like Obama, I'm not going to hire any lobbyists, not a one. The fucking crowd cheers and claps. Yeah, we got to get that guy, man. Hires more fucking lobbyists than all presidents combined. <laughs> that dude makes me fucking sick, man. Let me point this out. Okay, it says, for a lobbyist, the first step is to determine if you qualify. Okay, so you got to qualify under city code. Um, and then, there's the other one. Okay, and it says that, um, and then they make you go to the lobbyist web page. And to fight, figure it all out, you got to go to the city code, and then you got to go to the let, uh, lobbyist registration codes, and what a fucking joke. Now listen, Sacramento is a spy hub as I said so let's go here hmm. da, 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 the Sacramento City Council has formed a wide variety of boards and commissions to assist the city in information gathering and the deliberative process <laughs> 